What's going on YouTube? This is the all new Google Pixel 6 Pro and I've been using it for about a month ever since it was released and I kind of want to give you my thoughts about it. How am I feeling after using this device? Do I still think it's the best Google Pixel phone ever? Do I still think it's probably the best Android phone on the market right now? Well, I'm going to give you my thoughts because there's some things that Google fixed, there's some things that have not been fixed and probably will not be fixed either. But I want to give you my thoughts because if you're looking for a new phone this holiday season or anytime you're watching this video, I'm sure the Google Pixel 6 or 6 Pro is definitely on your short list. Let's go over some of the things I like and some of the things that I don't with the Google Pixel 6 Pro one month later. First things first, Google has finally made a flagship device and I do want to mention that because they did release their own Google flagships in the past, but they really couldn't compete with other true flagships on the market. But finally, the Google Pixel 6 Pro is a device that can definitely go toe to toe with any of these high end Android phones right now, not only because it has their own brand new Tensor chip, but also because you get this beautiful screen, you get a high end, high end, high quality type of device that, that Pixel phones generally lacked in the past. But this, I think Google did a nice job with their design. They give us a unique design that can be easily recognizable on the streets. And they give us a couple color options as well. A couple fun color options. But putting color aside, guys, they did make a true flagship. You have this beautiful display on the front that automatically adjusts the refresh rate based on what you're doing. So it can go from 60 to 120 hertz for some content. And overall, guys, I think they did a nice job with kind of giving us a very color accurate, very pleasurable screen to look at. Kind of wish it had a flat screen. I'm kind of over this curved screen personally, but it is what it is. I did happen to find the PET screen protector that works really nicely. So if you guys are interested in a screen protector, I'll leave this down in the comments below. But the one thing that I like about Google Pixel phones and, and probably just about everyone else on the planet does, that's this camera array, that's this camera bar on the back. Now the Pixel 5 and Pixels, the newer Pixels from the past have definitely took some of the best photos that I've ever taken. In terms of just point and shooting, I'm an auto type of shooter. So if you're like me and you just open up that camera application and you just press the shutter button, this is a great device for you. You get some really awesome pictures and I think they've improved the video quality as well. Now this is an example of front facing camera. Just to give you vloggers a little idea of what to expect from the Pixel 6 Pro's camera. I think they've done a nice job with it, but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Let's go ahead and switch to the front facing camera and see what Times Square is up to this morning. 4K 30. Now, one feature I have to show you guys that I really like personally is the magic eraser, because how many times have you tried to take a picture, but people just get in your way, people just kind of, kind of ruin your shot. But with magic eraser, you can just kind of delete these people right away and, and they're actually going to disappear. So I think this is a great, a great AI type of feature. Now, of course, if you zoom in, you might see a little residue of where these people were, but if you still just want a great photo that looks nice to put on the gram, that looks nice as a wallpaper, I think Magic Eraser is a great software trick and I can assume Google's only gonna make it better. Another feature that I really like is this motion setting. Again, it turns anything into kind of this action shot. And this is a picture I took of a cab. So again, it's just the little tweaks, the little, little features that make a Pixel phone a Pixel phone. And that's what I like about this device. That's what I really like about this device. But personally, it's just the camera. I think this camera is still the best camera to beat. I think no one's really come close to the Pixel phones. And this year, it's no exception. We get a really nice telephoto lens. We get a regular lens and we get an ultra wide as well. And that telephoto lens definitely can really zoom in and still maintain a lot of detail. So I'm happy about the camera array. Now I've done a full review, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave the I'll leave it in my links down below as well as a card that's going to pop up. I went in a little bit more detail about the hardware. This is sort of like a kind of an update of what's been going on with the Google Pixel device. 
Now, I really like this device because, again, I think we're getting a really nice screen. We're getting a, a very beautiful screen that's that's really enjoyable when you open up web pages, when you're surfing the web, when you're watching your favorite Jabbertech YouTube videos. This is a great device for you. The first case we're going to take a look at is the Symmetry Series case. Now, this is a bit clear style. They also have a, a sparkly edition. There's a couple editions available, so check my link down below if you're interested in this or the other Defend. If you guys like larger screens, you definitely are going to enjoy this phone. In my original review, which I'll link down in the comments below, I said the fingerprint scanner definitely was not good. I had some major issues with this fingerprint scanner, but I'm happy to tell you guys that Google definitely has fixed it. I don't know how they did it, but they've really sped up this fingerprint scanner and they've made it more accurate. I no longer have those issues where it just doesn't recognize my finger and I haven't retrained it. So I haven't done anything like that since I got an update. It just automatically started working better one day. And again, you can see that it's really unlocking the phone every time I've tried, and that was not the case before. So I'm happy to see that Google is stepping up and actually fixing problems that arise with their brand new hardware. Now again, first-gen products. Now I am calling this a first-gen product because it is using their, their own Tensor chip, and this is the first device that it's been put in. So I'm happy to see Google stepped up and Google is actually addressing problems and fixing them in a speedy manner. And there is rumors that there is gonna be a face unlock. I'm not too sure about that. I've read it on the web, probably just like you guys have but I would like to see a face unlock coming in the future as well. That's just something missing from, from this high-end device. And every other high-end device out there has some sort of face unlock. So again, fingerprint scanner has been fixed and I have to give Google a shout out for actually addressing a problem and actually fixing it. So that's, that's no longer a negative towards this phone. The camera is awesome. The fingerprint scanner is awesome. The screen and direct sunlight, even at night, is definitely awesome, bright and dim, all of that good stuff. No complaints with the screen whatsoever. I do have a problem with battery life and I do have a problem with charging. Now again, I've been using this as my daily driver and let's just kind of take a look at the, the battery life that's been going on. Now I did charge a little bit this morning. Now the Google Pixel 6 Pro is really a one day phone. I've said that in my original review and that has not changed unfortunately. I thought maybe that the adaptive charging and adaptive battery would kind of kind of adjust this battery level and give me a little bit more battery life throughout the day, but so far it hasn't again. I'll update you guys in a little bit after this review, kind of kind of give you maybe like a three month update to let you know how this phone is, but the battery life is still the same. This is still a one day type of battery, medium to heavy use. I'm probably charging this about 10 p.m., 11 p.m. at night. For the most part though, I can make it through the entire day, but when I wake up in the morning, I'm about 15%. So it's really a one day type of battery. If you guys don't do too much with your phone, you might be able to get a little bit more. So if you tell me in the comments you get two to three days with this, you're probably not using it at all. Now, I, I have noticed that when I am just on LTE, I get a lot better battery life. When it switches to 5G or even 5G ultra capacity, which I have here in New York City, this battery drains like crazy, even a little bit more. I took it off the charger the other day at about 12 noon. That's when I charged it. And when I had a look at it at about 7 p.m., I was down to about 60% on LTE only. I noticed I could get about a day and a half with this phone, but the minute it switches to 5G or even ultra capacity, this battery drains like a beast. So again, I think it is the 5G modem. Could they fix this with a future update? They probably could. Expect the 6 Pro to be a one day type of phone. And I'm okay with that, guys. We're, we're kind of... Like we're kind of accustomed to charging devices on a daily basis now, so I'm, I'm really okay with charging my phone every night or every morning. I'm okay with a one day. It's when it doesn't last a day where I, I got to kind of say, hey, what's going on? But again, guys, taking photos, doing all that stuff that you would on your phone, watching YouTube or trolling the web, you'll get about a day with this phone. Now, one thing I don't know if Google is going to be able to fix is the actual charging speed of the Pixel device. It kind of was a little muddy in the beginning. We thought it would charge at 30 watts because they were selling this 30 watt charger with it, but it turns out it really only charges at about 23-ish, I believe. I've done some non-scientific tests with this battery because in the beginning I was a little bit confused as to why it was taking very, very long to charge, almost about two hours. And I plugged it into a PPS charger that I had. I plugged it into a USB-C power delivery that all could do about 45 watts and it still charged really slowly. This is not gonna charge super, super fast, guys. That's just one thing I have to let you guys know. It is a slow it is a slow charge. So for those of you that are used to OnePlus devices or even the newer Samsung devices that charge really, really rapidly, the Pixel 6 Pro is not that type of device. And again, if that actually preserves the battery and allows people to use this for five years like Google is, is supporting it for, I'm okay with that. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd rather a fast charge that's going to degrade the battery and only make this phone usable for about two, maybe three years, 
or do you want Google to protect the battery, give a slower charge, and be able to maintain this battery life for the good part of five years? I'm okay with a little extra charging time to maintain this device for a couple extra years, but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. It does wireless charging as well. Now, Google's Pixel Stand is coming out. I have pre-ordered that, and that's going to do 23 watts of wire charging, so I'm excited about that as well. But overall, guys, my experience with the Google 6 Pro, the camera's been awesome, the screen is awesome, everything about this phone except the battery life is awesome. And again, I do have to put a little caveat, a little asterisk. One day, I'm perfectly fine with, no problems with that, but I have tested other devices that went a little bit more than a day. But I still think the Google 6 Pro is the Android phone to beat. I still think the 6 Pro is a beast. I still think this is one awesome device that if you're looking for a new phone this year, this season, this time, whenever you're watching this video, I really recommend the 6 Pro because not only are you getting Google's finest example of what they believe Android should be, but you're getting updates for three years, you're getting security updates for five years, and you're getting a device that has a lot of great tech inside. You're getting a device that has the Google Assistant pretty much everywhere. You're getting a device that has a lot of pixel-only type of tricks, like hold for me. You're getting this awesome spam and call screen option as well. And this is something I really can't live without. I no longer get spam calls about my car's warranty. Send all of those bots to your Google Assistant and she's gonna take care of the rest. But I really think this is a great device personally, but let me know what you think about it, if you've bought it, if you've been thinking about it, do you have any questions about it, any of that stuff, let me know down in the comments below. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.